hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to continue to make this snail so in my previous video i have shown you how to make this she shell now we are going to make this eyes and this base to complete this amnoid snail so before we start to make this snail i would request you if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe to my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see how we are going to make this eyes and base so first we are going to make this center eyeball so take your second color thread and make a ring here i am going to use a magic ring So once you have a ring, in this ring we are going to make 6 single crochet stitches. So round 1 is done and we have 6 stitches. Now in round number 2, top of each stitch, we are going to make 2-2 two, two single crochet. So take your hook on top of first stitch. Here we are going to make 2 single crochets. One and one more in same stitch. So Two. Now work in next stitch, make two single crochet. So like this, make two two single crochet stitches in remaining stitches and complete round number two. So round number two is done and we have twelve stitches. Now from round number three to five, so total three rounds, we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch. So one, two, three. So like this, make one one single crochet top of each stitch and complete round number three, four, and five. So I completed my round number five, and we have twelve stitches. Now in this gap, we are going to fill the fiber. Now in our round number 6, we are going to decrease the stitches. So take the front loop of first stitch, then take the front loop of next stitch. So you will have 3 loop. Now grab the thread and pull from all 3 loop. So like this, we have decreased 1 single crochet and we got 1 stitch here. And you need to work the decrease like this in remaining stitches. So 6 stitches, now just pull this thread and cut with some extra margin. So now we have 6 stitches, we are going to close this gap. So take this loose end in a needle and work in front loop of next stitch. Take the front loop of next stitch, pull this needle and thread. Then take the front loop of next stitch, pull this needle and thread. So like this, work in remaining 4 stitches, work in front loop, pull this needle and thread to close this gap.
so we made the ball for the eyes now we are going to make this eye sockets so now take your white color thread and make a ring and on that ring make six single crochets So round one is done and we have six stitches in round number two top of each stitch we are going to make two two single crochet so top of first stitch make two single crochets then on next stitch make two single crochet Like this, make two two single crochet in remaining stitch and complete round number two. So round number two is done and we have twelve stitches. Now from round number three to five, we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch. So one single crochet, then on next stitch, one, then on next one. Like this, make one one single crochet and complete round number three. Four and five now top of first stitch make one slip stitch pull and cut the thread with some margin so here we made the top part for the socket and now we are going to make the bottom part so with white color make a ring and on that ring make six single crochets We have six stitches now from round number two to ten we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch so at the end of round number ten you will have six stitches so top of first stitch take your hook and make one single crochet then on next one like this make one one single crochet top of each stitch and complete round number two to ten so i've done with round number ten now in round number eleven top of next two stitch make one one single crochet Then on next stitch make two single crochets one and one more in same stitch so two now repeat this stitches one more time work in next two stitch make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet so round number 11 is done and we have eight stitches now in round number 12 top of first stitch make two single crochet Then on next stitch make one single crochet then on next stitch make two single crochets then on next stitch make one single crochet like this repeat this stitches make two single crochet next stitch and one single crochet next stitch and complete round number 12 so round number 12 is done and we have 12 stitches now in round number 13 top of next six stitches we are going to make two two single crochet one two like this make two two single crochet in next five stitch Now leave these six stitches unworked and just 
pull this thread and cut with some margin. Now take this ball and take the metal wire. Now we are going to place this wire inside this ball. So this is the starting and end. So we are going to place the ball like this. So at the back side here just take three rows in this wire. Take this wire and place this inside this stamp. First measure how much you need. Cut this wire. Now insert this wire to this socket. So we place this ball inside this stamp. Now take this upper part. So keep this unworked stitch in front side like this and 12 stitches at the back. And now we are going to just stitch this two parts together. Now we left some thread for the upper cap. So take this thread and a needle. So with the help of this thread and needle, we are going to stitch two stitches to this side. We stitch this socket to the eyes. Now just take this loose end and a needle. Now we are just going to secure this ball to this socket. So take stitch them just taking these stitches.
so we make the first eye now you just have to repeat this stitches same like this first make eyeball then make this top cap then lower sock lower stamp for the socket and make one more eye like this now we are going to make this base take your white color thread make a slip knot on your hook now make chain 15 So after chain 15 skip first chain and work from second chain from your hook and in next 13 chain stitches make one one single crochet So we made 13 single crochets when you reach to your last stitch here we are going to make 3 single crochets. So 3 single crochet in last stitch. Now we are going to work to the other side of this chain in stitches. Now work in next 12 stitches to the other side and make 1 1 single crochet. So 12 single crochets now work in on your last stitch and here make two single crochet so round one is done and we have total 30 stitches now in round number two take your hook on top of first stitch and here make two single crochets I'm going to place the marker here. Now work in next 12 stitches and top of that make one one single crochet. So 12 single crochet stitches. Now work in next 3 stitches and top of that make 2 2 single crochet. total six single crochets now work to the other side and in next 12 stitches make one one single crochet After 12 single crochet work in next 2 stitches and top of that make 2 2 single crochet. So round number 2 is done and we have 36 stitches. Now in round number 3 top of first stitch make 1 single crochet. Then top of next stitch make 2 single crochets.
then work in next 12 stitches and top of that make one one stitch After 12 stitches, now work next stitch, make one single crochet, then on next two, then work on next stitch, make one single crochet, then on next stitch, make two, then work on next stitch, make one single crochet, then on next two. Now work in next 12 stitches to the other side and make one one single crochet. After 12 single crochet, now work in next stitch, make one single crochet, then on next stitch, two single crochets, then on next stitch, one, then on last stitch, two single crochets. So round number three is done, and we have 42 stitches now in round number four top of each stitch we are going to make one one single crochet so like this make one one single crochet and work till your last stitch so i'm done with round number four now top of first stitch make one slit stitch Now pull and cut the thread. Now you just repeat these stitches from round number 1 to round number 4 and make one more part same like this. So once you done with your second part, so when you work on your last stitch, take the second part and place this both the parts facing back side to each other like this. Now we are going to work on this stitches. Now make one single crochet. Take this stitch from second part and take this stitch from the first part. So take the one one single crochets from both the side and make one single crochet. Next. So like this we are going to work around until we reach to this top part do not close completely because we are going to fill the fiber inside So when you come to the halfway with one one single crochet just pull this thread now we are going to fill the fiber to this gap and do not fill the fiber so much just give it a flat shape. Now we again we are going to make one one single crochets by taking stitches from both the part and work till your last stitch to close this base.
so i have joined this two parts and we got this base now to make this frill to continue with your white color thread now take your hook top of first stitch and make three double crochets now work in next stitch and here make three double crochet so like this make three three double crochets in top of each stitch and work till your last stitch on top of first stitch make one slip stitch and pull this thread with some extra margin so once you done with eyes shell and this base now we are going to stitch all these parts together so first we are going to stitch this shell to base so just arrange this shell at the center of this base now take these stitches from this shell and this base and we are going to stitch these parts together now take the eyes and arrange them in between second and third row like this and we are going to stitch the eyes so to make this eyes straight what you have to do once you stitch the base now take the two or three rows in a needle like this now pull this Right. Now again, take the needle from one or two rows. So by that, this stick get straight like this.
have is stitched the eyes and this snail is ready i hope you have learned from this video if you have any questions or query please do let me know in comment section so see you in my next video till then bye bye take care